Nah, 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 no, not, no. Stop selling to children, miscreant. Not happening. Or face my I've got a nuke. We're shutting your ass. <laughs> do it. Waste the three. Do it, John. John, do it. John? Yeah. He wasn't dead yet. Holy shit! No, dear heart. The shroud stumbled. The oh my god, he's got corn. Maneuvered. I knew of the mayor's. The silver shrouds bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the silver shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel, Charlie. The Paradox Comet, thank you so much, holy crap! No, I ain't surprised. Ah, you're so sweet. Paradox has the message, but it's private. Oh, Paradox, good luck, man. I love you. All the nukes. Holy crap. Come on, doll face. Any friends right through here. It's a friend of the third rail. Oh, I'm more than his friend, you feel me? Oh gee, Polly. I ain't that never been in a secret shroud gangster costume? hideout before. <laughs> what hey. the Ain't no judgments, oh, but ain't that a kid's show? You step through the gate, you don't fall. My way for paying customers. What's up, bro? Right. From the hey, <laughs> What'd you wear that for? Yeah. It's candy. And you yeah. look a calm. I'm all right. The silver <laughs> shroud! <laughs> look at Hancock back there, holy I shit. A miscreant <laughs> named Kendra. Shroud, then. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found <laughs> down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for fee it can be arranged. Fuck that noise. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. Justice? You mean to end her? In that case, if that's just south of Good Neighbor, Water Street Apartments, yeah, for the blighters she's got with her, nasty piece of business there. Good luck. Thanks, babe. Let's go. Your mistake is our game. Holy is it? Death has come for you, evil doer, and I am its shroud. This is funny. Holy crap. Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. Fred Allen. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Oh, we Justice gotta walk there. Okay. Good neighbor. You'll see. Irma. Galaxy. Radio. What is, what's the best way to go? When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows. Uh. <laughs> Question Is this the first Fallout with protagonist voice acting? No, I don't think so. No, New Vegas had it, I think. Wait, oh, wait, no, you're right, it might be. New Vegas uh, had the silent protagonist. George Clooney voices dance. Does he? Because it sounds just like him. Oh my god, clearly we need that, lols. Jeez. I can't believe it's actually him, holy crap. Oh my god, these loading screens, for yes, fuck's sake. Yes, my cholera companion. And no, robotic hellspawn they were. 
but not Fat Fahey's, for he himself presented the facts. Someone else is actually the master of it all. Oh my God! But who? Thank you, Dakota. That's so very sweet. You and I have battled Boston's rogues gallery for years. This, this is someone new. Certainly. But which criminal culprit has the technological know-how to construct such clockwork calamities? I don't... You don't know anything? Yeah, right. But I... I do see. And I'll tell you two. On one condition. Hello? Oh. Okay. By the shadowed streets of Southie. No one. one no one with nukes. Oh, hi. Woo! <laughs> well, that alerted everyone. Who's my favorite character in Undertale? Uh, Sans and Burger Pants. And Papyrus. And Undyne. Oh god, all of them. So good. truth in this clockwork crook. Shall I? Use your blade of bastard to free the mobot's head from its now destroyed body. The fuck is this place that I've just gone to? What? Oh, hi. That works. Thanks. Wait, do we have to fall? Whoa, 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 hey, where? Oh. What the fuck? Fine, you amoral automaton. War away. Did I go in the wrong way? A moonless night and an unguarded skylight. Just what we needed. Wait a minute. To stealthily infiltrate this warehouse. Yes, and our view from above is advantageous, for the gathering below is unlike any soiree uh -oh. I've ever seen. Okay, I think I went the wrong way. Robots. Dozens of them. All shapes and sizes. And on the stage. Their leader. Another robot. No. Not a robot. A man. Who's better, Alphys or Metaton? Oh, Metaton for sure. Sorry, Alphys. Shut up, you dummies. Us robots got good hearing. You better get yourselves caught. Now listen. Boss man's about that talk. My robotic children. Hi. We stand tonight at the dawn of a new era. For too long, as human oh. Oh! What's up, girl? What is this radio station? Revolution begins tonight, my precious offspring. You have taken your last life, villain. You stole my line. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, The Mechanism. Bye, Mayo. Thank you. Guys, I love you all.
That's a wrap, Kendra. Oh, I missed you guys while I'm away for Thanksgiving, but don't worry. Heart Gold will still be going on. I'll just miss you guys because I always do when I go. I did put a card, didn't I? I think I did. Hey, mind if we talk now? Oh, what's up, babe? Yeah, you are right. Tangling. Wait. Of course. What's up? Look, During this radio I, station, she's... Just you should take care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. But a Muppet compared to the malignancy of the mechanist. She tried to dupe us both. Dealing with her was the right move. True. But it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of us. Hell, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. <laughs> Some ass named Vic ran the town for I don't know how long before that. The guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he used to keep people in line. Every so often, he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the popular... This is very crowd. casual and romantic. <laughs> your homes could lock their doors, but us drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. We all just stood there, did nothing. Aww. And it would seem he's biting through our bindings. You can't blame yourself. It sounds like you were outmatched. Why am I doing this romantic dialogue in this outfit with this fucking radio on? Oh no! This is terrible. This is very telling of my romantic prowess. I was on the floor of the old state house, right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock, first American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high, but those clothes spoke to me. Told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put him on, started a new life. Green tag, thank you. After that, I went clean for a bit, got to organize. Convinced Thanks for being here. Some hardware, got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins. Started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. The fact that you're standing here and Vic isn't would suggest things went well. Oh, yeah. So, the night of, we all got loaded. Let Vic's boys get good and hammered. <laughs> oh, Crumsy, thank the you. And rooftops you're sweet. Been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. We didn't have to. But we sure fucking did. God, Hancock is a shit, yo. Once we'd mopped up, we strolled right into Vic's quarters in the state house. Wrapped a rope around his neck and threw him off the balcony. Proton John, of course. Gun in hand, John Hancock ain't real. Duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my words. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. Oh shit. Mayor Hancock, All right. Good neighbor that day. And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch ever again. And you're never going to have to. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. Good. I just hope you get where I was coming from. I ain't out to bring harm to anyone that didn't earn it. Though I'm getting the distinct idea. You got the same plan. Oh, he's a softy at heart, really, even though he's a badass. That likes to do a lot of drugs and get in trouble. Oh, sweetie. All right. Uh, I think we need to go take care of that. Okay, first of all, fucking hell, this radio station. Go away. Someone's under attack. So let's go do that quickly. Because you can fail these if you don't do them, like, kind of right away. So let's go quickly do that. <laughs> I've already posted, like, questionable pictures of Hancock on Tumblr. Well, not questionable, really. Just someone drawing him, like, in a very cute manner. Lol. The ship had already sailed. He was a skeleton. True. All right, don't worry. We're here with the nukes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, yes. All right, are we done here? Oh, oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> that was the... <laughs> that was quick. Don't mind that we blew up everything else. It's fine, right? It's fine. Noodle cup? 